All right, Shalom. Let me say, call Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Kadash. That will understand the elder apostle, great millstone. Peace and blessings to all your brothers, teaching the truth and sincerity underneath the banner and the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, you know, you know, just checking the news and the internet. You know, before I clock in at the plantation. Uh, and you know in the forefront of my mind is the the verses and the scriptures that start with new heavens and the new earth and you know what it means to these people okay so called Christians and people that's not in the know of spirituality okay or people that have the zeal of the most high but not according to knowledge all right and their biggest uh conception i'll say it like that is uh, uh one the earth is going to be wiped out and we know in the scriptures it says the earth shall abide forever so we know that that's not true um when it all comes down to it, they still think that whatever happened, the same uh, construct that you got in front of you today, which is of a uh, so-called white man, which is Esau Edom, will still hold his, uh, uh, his ground, man, okay? And I just wanted to pull out a couple of scriptures, you know, um, from the KJV. All right. And, um, you know, this is just off a website. And the website is in the blue. And it says, uh, Isaiah 65 and 17, it says, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former things will not be remembered or come to mind. So right there, that's a cut. Okay. Because the, the new uh, heaven in the new earth all right the new heaven being uh, uh the rulership which is of israel okay the israelites all right and the new the new earth is just that okay it's not going to be in the way of a polluted uh city like it is now okay the way that esau Edom rules over it we're gonna be cutting down trees. We're gonna be destroying uh, uh, um, lands. We're gonna be crossing borders. Okay. Everybody's gonna to to be set up in their own uh, season underneath the rule of the Israelites. Okay. And after the uh, slavery of the so-called white man which is going to be annihilated after a thousand years, uh, which is Esau, Edom, okay? The other nations that's in servitude will get their lands and be set up there under subjection of the Israelites, okay? It's not my words, it's what's in the scriptures, Okay? This is Hebrews 12 and 26 and 27. It says, And his voice shook the earth then, but now he has promised, saying, Yet once more will I shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. Okay. And, you know, they they, they have their own little, uh, um, <laughs> meanings. Okay. But when you clearly see that, it says yet once more. So after the flood, okay, this this second uh, big um, catastrophe that's going to wipe out a majority of people is those thermonuclear missiles and the plagues that's going to be sent forth on the earth, okay, to dwindle down the numbers set forth by Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. All right. 
So it says, yes, yeah, once more would I shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. Okay. Because when you read in the scriptures, it said the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. With great noise. Okay. And that's so stubborn nuclear missiles hitting uh, land masses. All right. So he's going to shake the earth and then the heavens. Okay. Those those governments that set up all over, which are the uh, seven heads and ten horns, I, I believe, NATO, EU, okay. Those those uh those facets of governments are gonna fall, man. Okay. What's going on. Second Peter 3 and 12 and 13 it says looking for a hastening to come another day of the power because of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning and the elements will melt in intense heat but according to his promise we are looking for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells okay now let me get this uh So when you look at this one, this verse right here, it's talking about those those missiles, man. Okay, it says looking for a hasten on to the coming of the day of power, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay, and that's uh, contrary to popular belief but it's in the scriptures, man. Okay, so what do we know? We know that uh, AKA uh, America, Babylon the Great, uh, America, AKA known as Babylon the Great, it's gonna be annihilated, okay, by thermal nuclear missiles and other spots on the planet as well. But uh, all would not be uh, destroyed or lost to the magnitude that uh, Babylon the Great is going to be lost. Okay, it's going to be a desert here. All right. The smoke's going to go up forever as opposed to other places that might get hit. And uh, it might be savageable. Okay. After the uh, coming destruction. But America aka Babylon it's going to be wiped out it's going to be annihilated all right yeah so uh I just wanted to put that out you know because uh it's a popular misconception okay by Christians and you know people of the zeal the most high but not according to knowledge that uh the whole earth all right it's going to be wiped out and destroyed you know so with that i want to say shalom